Hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Any one of the greetings that meets you at the particular time you are watching anywhere in the world. You are welcome again to this channel. And I welcome every new bee. If you are just watching me, just seeing this face for the first time, you are sincerely welcome to this channel. On this channel, we talk about DIYs, household usables, skincare, and a lot more. So, um, I guess you will be glad to stick to this channel. So, if you are just tuning in today, kindly press the subscribe button, put on the notification bell. I am following Shaw Olutaya OABC. And today we'll be talking about a, another section of melt and pour. You know, if you have been watching for the old subscribers, if you have been watching, you will remember that we made an hotel soap. Today, I'm not actually making something for hotel soap, but I'm making the other side of the melt and pour. We used the uh, milk base that day. You know, there are several milk base. We have the milk base. There are several bases, rather. We have the milk base. We have the um, honey base. We have the glycerin base. Today, we'll be experimenting with the glycerin base. I'm going to be adding several things to the glycerin base to give us different shades of how we can use the glycerin base. Please stay tuned and let's go straight into the practical session. The practical. Welcome once again. Here is my glycerin base. Glycerin base. You know, this is like an already made soap, but this particular one is glycerin based. So if I'm using this, you don't need to add glycerin to that production any longer. If you remember when we did the goat's milk base, I added glycerin to my formulation. So today, there will be no glycerin in this formulation because this is already a glycerin based melt and pour. Also, I'll be making use of my turmeric oil. I'll be making use of my neem powder. I'll be making use of my cam wood powder. Here is my sulfur powder. I'll be making use of my, you know, this is the brown liquor rice. It is called liquor rice roots. I'm finding it very difficult to open this. I hope you can see this. It's brownish in color. By the time I'm ready to use it, I'll definitely open. Now this is my coffee powder. My coffee powder. Coffee powder, no, my cocoa powder rather. Here is my cocoa powder. So as you go along with me, you see how I'll be adding this reagents or powders botanicals these are referred to as botan botanicals so you'll be seeing now i'll be adding these botanicals to the already melt the already made melt and pour so i'll go straight to dissolve this and i will come back to add these additives to it to make this day to call this day a day thank you and keep watching trying to double boil it you can see the water boiling and you can see that the this uh, melt and pop it will be it will be reducing in content if you can see this field of by the time we are done it will have been a lot lower than this you know it will be reducing in content I mean the volume of what you can see inside will be gradually reduced. So welcome back here. I'm going to be doing some readjustment so that we can see this. So here is my melt and pour, as we had seen earlier. I'll be pouring it now. I'll be removing this and putting those things I need. I hope you can see this. I'll be pouring this into my measurements cup so that it will be easy for me to pour inside the mold. Don't mind me. Uh, let's assume that I have access to microwave and I'm using microwave. I'll probably have the boldness to put in my measurement cup. But because these things are not actually so cheap, so I'm moving this off. I'm moving this off because I don't need them. Now, I hope you can see this. 
here is my mold and here are the different reagents that we'll be using i we need to use another spatula sorry about that so that i can measure some of those powders so i'm introducing this so i'll be adding in my melt and pour into the silicone mode look at how beautiful this is I think I overfilled that I'm not supposed to fill it to the brim so I'll just be creative about this. I was finding this so difficult to open. I think I need to battle it out to make sure that I open it. I really need to sort this out. Okay. So like I said earlier, here is my licorice roots. It has some seed in it. So I'll be adding that to one, just one out of whatever it is that I added my licorice roots to that. You know, when we talk about DIYs, we are talking about creativity. We are talking about the art of making soap. I'm not talking about act, like acting of movie. I'm talking about art, the ART. It means you can come up with different designs, you can come up with different options, you can come up with different things for different purposes. You can decide to make this for a dry skin, an oily skin, you know, a complicated skin. You can even make a soap and add something to it for a skin that has rashes. Okay, let's do this. This is my neem oil. I'll be adding neem oil to my turmeric oil rather. Sorry, this is turmeric oil because I have neem oil as well. This measurement I added is just like half tablespoon. Then the same portion that I added my turmeric, I'll be adding in my sulfur powder, just a, a pinch of it. You don't have to add so much, you know, that seems too much for me, but we have to manage it that way. I'm going to mix it together because I have just one spatula to do that. Then another one, I'll be adding in my neem powder. Here is my neem powder. Please you do this according to your taste and according to the purpose for which you are making that particular production. Then here is my Kamwood powder. I'll be adding in my Kamwood powder to another. Here is my Kamwood powder. Then, you know, I'm already passing my banjo when it comes to some of the powders. Here is my Here is my cocoa powder. I'll just be adding a pinch. Here is my cocoa powder. Then you can mix them together. I hope you can see this. It's like it's taking a little while before I decided to mix it. So I, I didn't add any perfume to this. If you watch the other goat milk I did, I added perf to it. You know, the soap is about to solidify already. So what that is telling us, when you are involved in the art of soap making or cream making or any of these practicals that are done, you will learn on a daily basis. By the time you make that production, maybe on request for something from somebody, you will just realize that while you are making that production, you have learned something new. Now, here is my turmeric powder coupled with my sulfur powder. Make sure you dissolve the powders. You know? I'm supposed to use the sulfur powder separate and the turmeric oil separate. But never mind. We are still going to get another creative result. You know? In our paid class, we have a section under the module that will talk about the art of soap making. There are so many things to learn there. If you are somebody that loves do it yourself, you love stuff like DIY, you know, 
it will not be a bad idea if you join that class. So please DM me if you are interested in the paid class. There are so many things to learn in the paid class. You know, I deliberately combined this production as one video. I can decide to start making, but I wanted us to have a very clear view and understanding of this. This is my cam wood powder. I added my cam wood to this. I can decide to pour only this one that has cam wood inside my measuring cup. Mix it thoroughly with my mixer, then make that. But I decided to combine this so that we can understand the art of soap making, like I said earlier. Now we have our different mixtures. Then, you know, when you add this, you can also add maybe different things can give you different colors. For instance, this one that I added can wood. If I added hibiscus powder, it will have given me the same color. You can see this. I added cocoa powder to one, and I added something. I added another one, licorice powder, and it's giving me something very close to each other. I'm trying to make sure that this mixes very well. You understand? So when you are making your video, I, I, I was about saying your video, when you are making your own soap, you know that if you are making this and you pour this into a cup, you will have the room to mix it thoroughly. So please don't put that into consideration and understand what I have done. This is already mixing. Let me let it be. So I deliberately left this without adding anything to it so that now I'm going to fill it up. Those ones that were not filled up, I'll fill it up now. No, you, this one can also, we can also use metal pot to make what I referred to as Kampala soap or marble soap. Something that has a, a kind of multicolor stuff on it. You understand? The parts will be very smooth and clear. And that parts be having so the soap can serve dual purpose one side if you are probably making a, a rashi soup one side will be for the rashes then you would, when you want to use the other side maybe for a, as a face soap then you'll be using the other side so many things to learn there are so many things to understand this practice or act that you see us do are things that we have learned for over the years we have made our mistakes we have added uh, knowledge by learning from one practical session to the other and at the end of the day we are built up with a lot of wealth of knowledge and that is why we come up with different things on a different basis so please if you are interested in the paid class kindly send me a message and I will give you the details also at the end of this 31 days challenge there will be so many things rolling up I mentioned it in some of my videos earlier about the YouTube training that you'll be paying a token. I'm not the one taking the training, but my editor, he does majority of the edition of most of the videos that you see me post on this channel. So please, please feel free to comment, send in your messages, ask your questions. Give this video a thumb up because it will help with my YouTube algorithm. You know, if you have enjoyed this and you have any question at all, I'll be right there waiting for your questions. Thank you. Happy Vin and see you in my next video. Bye.